So here I am getting ready to cut my material. I have it all lined up so that I have exactly three inches uh, wide cut and it's about 17 inches long. You'll notice in this picture um, I cut off or I'm about to cut off the end so probably lost about an inch to make it about 16 inches long by three inches wide. Here's both pieces side by side for the main part of the bag and then I went into making the cuts for the drawstring which is two and a half inches wide and I made it 17 inches and then kind of lobbed off an extra piece again on this. So there you go, you should be all ready to get started. So I cut my pieces and now I just need to draw a circle around this cup. It's gonna kind of give me the, um, like a, a nice end to this. Okay, so I don't know that I can do this with the camera on, so I'm gonna turn it off. So I have this down here from my cup. Up here, I have, oh, maybe, let's see, three inches from the top, and I kind of eyeball this, and I might move it later, and I put a couple pins in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin this down a couple places and down here, and then I'm going to sew here, down around here, up this side, and I'll stop at these pins. So I have cut the bottom. So a nice little circle at the bottom. I've pinned a few spaces and now I have my fabric underneath the presser foot and I'm not real great with seam allowances but I believe that this is like maybe the one fourth. Basically what I'm going to do is try to keep the edge of my fabric lined up with the edge of the foot and I'm not real great at this but I do my best and as long as you kind of stay somewhat close your project will be fine for this. Also, I'm just using a straight stitch. It's just really simple. And I'm going nice and slow. Yeah, I just sewed over a pin. I'm gonna pull it out because I don't want to have a disaster. And it's really hard to do this one. Thankfully, I am left-handed though, so that helps put the thing out of the camera. Also, making these turns can be a little difficult. So, I'm going to turn off the camera and I'm going to make this turn. So, I just went all the way around, back up the other side. So, what I'm going to do now, the reason I held these pins here is I didn't want to go past that point. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold these sides in, which I can't do with the camera on, but I'm going to give you an idea. Folding them in like this on both sides, and then I'm going to fold fold this down here to make sort of a pocket. I will show you again once I get this pinned up so you'll be able to see what it looks like. Done. So I folded it over. You can see that's where my stitches ended. And I'm going to end up sewing it like right here as close as I can. Okay, so I'm going to, before I do that though, I'm going to do, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to pin the other side just like I did this one. So folding it, I still can't do this on camera, but Essentially folding it like this on both sides and then folding the whole thing over. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to get any better. Both sides are pinned, okay, and I need to sew them. And I'm just going to go for sewing them. I want to make sure that I get this, this top layer. See, these? there's two layers in here. I want to get these together. I do not want to sew it to this, this layer this pocket. This is going to be its own pocket and this is going to be its own pocket, but I do want to make sure that I get these two layers that I've pinned together. I want to make sure I catch both of those when I sew. So I just um, did my little pockets. Okay, so my next job is going to be to turn this right side out. So I just turned it right side out and I think all the good sewers would tell you that you would um, iron this now to flatten it and I have not been doing that because I just don't feel like it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take this down here and I'm just doing this. I'm going around again, following the side of the, the presser foot just to make like, just to kind of finish it nicely. So I'll show you what that looks like in a sec. So now you can see I just did, I went around and did um, just kind of like a nice little finishing stitch and it's not perfect. Um, the nice thing about this is that the size of the initial fabric allows for a lot of mistakes 
So it's like not going to be too small that the tin whistle won't fit in there. So that's perfect. So the next thing I'm going to do is to make the um, the pull string that goes in here and real simple. The piece that I used for the pull string, the, these ones were three inches wide. This one is two and a half. And I actually cut them to be about the same size as the original um, length for the, uh, the rest of the bag just because it's easier. Um, I can make it shorter, which is fine, but it doesn't matter if I have some hanging off the end, but that's up to you. So the first thing I'll do is actually sew these ends under. Um, I'll just turn it under maybe like a quarter of an inch or something and sew this so that the ends look clean. So now I turn, I turn those ends under and I sewed them and, um, my next step is going to be to, I'm going to fold this in half which takes a little bit of work, and have the right sides together, and I'm gonna pin this all the way down so that I make like a tube. Okay, so I'll show you what that looks My like. tube all pinned. Okay, just a couple of pins. I'm still using a straight uh, stitch. I have been the whole time, and I'm just gonna go down and I'm going to sew this all the way down to the end with another straight stitch. I'm gonna line it up with the presser foot again when I do it. Let's see if I can do that one-handed. <laughs> Probably not. I'm gonna put it right here. Put this down. And oh, I have also been moving. If you don't have this option, you don't need to worry about it. But I have this option to move my needle over. So I've just been trying to go more to that end when I do this. <laughs> Alright, I gotta put this down. Too hard. So I have a pin on the end now of my little drawstring tube, and I'm gonna use that to kind of push that um, tube back through so that I can undo my drawstring. And then I will use my pin, keep it in there, and I will make it uh, make the drawstring go through the pockets on the cover. And you can tie off the ends if you like, which I've been doing, or whatever you like to make it look pretty.